Let's go. Oh, the original cut. There it absolutely is. I might like it better than the 2020 version. Some strange reason people are loving the, uh, the the previews of this Jordan 4 that's a PSG collab, which I just can't for the life of me understand why people are falling in love with that shoe. For the life of me understand why people are falling in love with that shoe. For the life of me understand why people are falling in love with that shoe. So, as usual, I reserve the right to change my opinion, obviously, right? Uh, clearly, I shot that video before I saw the materials and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, man, special day today. Um, he actually came super quick from uh, the sneakers app. I, uh, today is Tuesday. I, I did two-day shipping. But typically, when I do two-day shipping, I don't get it until Wednesday. So it's Tuesday night. I'm doing my review. Uh, let's get right into it, man. Um, I think Nike's starting to also cheap out on the just do it tape, man. I get any tape on the backside, right? Normally, it's all over the place. Uh, maybe that's why I got so fast. So they cheaped out on this joint. Anyways, pop this guy open, man. You know what I'm saying? It's an unboxing. Wow. Kids are sleeping. Anyway, pop this guy open. Box. Turn this guy upside down. And, man, y'all already know, man. Y'all already know. Look at that box, man. All right, first and foremost, this is not the usual Jordan 4 box. This box um, is much different actually than what came with the Jordan 6 PSG, which I'm gonna pull out and get right to it. This is the box for this shoe. Clearly you have this Bordeaux colored top with the PSG logo, PSG Jordan collab logo. Presentation's already pretty nice. Uh, size 11, colorway is white Bordeaux neutral gray. Price tag of 225, which is to be expected from a collab such as this. Uh, I think I did pay $225 for the Jordan 6 infrared, I'm sorry, excuse me, Jordan 6 PSG. And I haven't got the Jordan 5 yet, but we'll get into all that. Pop the top. Now here's a special part, right? Oh, first off, this uh this logo is actually embossed. I'm not quite sure if the camera's gonna pick that up, but it's uh embossed on there, which is pretty cool. Alright, then we got this wax paper that does indeed have the Jordan brand logo as well as the PSG logo. And I'll get into the history of this joint a little bit. I can smell that leather coming out of there already. That's a good sign. Wax paper. Pull this thing back. Yeah, man, this is, this is everything I thought it was gonna be. Everything I thought it was gonna be, man. <clears throat> Pull these guys out real quick. Y'all already know what this is, but I'm gonna you know, have some dramatic effect. I'm gonna put this wax paper back in here. As you can see, this is the pitch. This is the soccer green of some field somewhere where the football is kicked around. But again, presentation is already pretty dope, man, which I like. Jordan Brand has really been stepping up the presentation of shoes. Uh, and it's, it's cool, man. It's cool. But let's get right into the meat potatoes. Let's get into why you're really here. I am absolutely pleased and proud to present to you the Air Jordan 4 PSG. So, as you saw my opening, my opening act, um, I reviewed the Jordan 6 PSG, and I mentioned I was going to get the Jordan 5 PSG, which I, I actually need to get sooner rather than later, because something tells me that the price is going to go up on that. Uh, there's also a Jordan 1 PSG, which, you know, I think is going to hold pretty steady, except all Jordan 1s go up in price eventually, right? So, I got a lot of clicking I got to do. Well, the, the, the objective, the objective is to uh, get Jordan PSG set. All right, so this is a good start. Now, right back into it. Jordan 4 PSG, man. Um, Bordeaux colorway, white and gray, black everywhere. Um, the shoe I initially slept on because I didn't quite understand um, how the shoe had so much popularity behind it because just what we saw at the time was a colorway. We had no indication really what the materials were gonna be, what they're gonna look like. So right now I can tell you uh, it's got a pretty, pretty, pretty soft toe box here. The leather, it seems to be pretty supple uh, all over with this tumbled leather everywhere. Around the toe cap is this nice gray contrast 
Uh, feels like a new buck, but it could be suede. Again, I told you I'm, I'm terrible with materials, but either way, it adds a nice contrast to this shoe. And the way the shoe looks, uh, something seems a little bit different about it. And I can't tell if it's the cut or maybe just because the tongue of the shoe is not sticking up, but the cut makes the shoe look very much like a lifestyle shoe. And that is pretty cool to me. It looks like you can put the shoe, which you should, uh, on feet immediately and go for it. So uh, on the back of the shoe, it does have the PSG Jordan brand collab logo in place of the uh, Nike Air, which is nice. And on the back, typically this part is really like a hard rubber, but this one's really like a soft rubber. It has this, uh, you know, springy or spongy material, which is really nice. On the tongue, it does have a black, you know, uh, tag on it that's made of cloth with the uh, Bordeaux colored flight with the white jump man. Obviously, standing on every Jordan 4 is the wings, you know, because they call it the wings that has its Bordeaux and black colorway on it. Check that out. On the midsole, it does indeed, again, have that Bordeaux colorway with the uh, gray here and the black. The netting is a white netting with a black background on it. And, you know, in hand, man, the shoe comes together really, really well. I can honestly say, I believe this is one of the best Jordan releases of 2020. So what makes this collab special is Jordan Brand partnered with Paris Saint-Germain, Paris Saint-Germain, I guess, <laughs> excuse me uh, if I got that or butchered that wrong, but um, it's a collab with the soccer club, the football club uh, in Paris Saint-Germain, and they have a great relationship with Jordan Brand. Now, um, some of the stars I mentioned was like Kylian Mbappe played there and previously Neymar Jr. played for them. I think he just departed to go someplace else. But anyway, it was a powerhouse of uh, the European Football League. And so Jordan Brand does have the collab with them. Some of the hints that make this a PSG collab is, as I mentioned, does have that logo on the back and also has the word Panam here. I try to get close to the camera so you can see that. And Panam is the call sign of uh, France, of Paris, France. The same way we call New York the Big Apple or Chicago the Windy City, Panam is the name for France, uh, for Paris, France. As I mentioned, on the back uh, heel tab, there's that 75 there. That 75 is the uh, calling area code of Paris, France. So typically when you call internationally, if you dial a number here in the US, you'll put plus one and then dial the rest of the number. In Paris or France in particular, I guess, uh, they do a plus 75 and that's the calling code. On the back of the tongue is that Bordeaux colorway and a felt or you know cloth material. And this one does just, does just have Air Jordan on the inside of it. I may have expected something a little different, but you know, it's still cool there. You know, definitely still cool. Now you're gonna look in here and you're gonna see that my size tag is obstructing the view, but the uh, words EC say Paris, uh, which, you know, translate to this is Paris is on the insole of the shoe. So what Jordan Brand has been doing is keeping a couple of the elements consistent between the releases. I'll go ahead and pull out the Jordan 6 PSG and you can take a look from there. Anytime I have a chance to pull out the Jordan 6 PSG, I'm gonna do it. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, Jordan 6s. Jordan 6 is my favorite silhouette hands down and its colorway is just freaking phenomenal. So as I mentioned, uh, in its infrared, you have the word Panam, right? Uh, the 75, I believe, is somewhere around here. Where's that 75 at? I remember now. The plus 75 is actually on the lace lock of the opposing shoe. I try to hold that guy up right here. You can see him right there. There's your plus 75. So yeah, Jordan Brand definitely does a pretty good job. Let's tie these guys all in together. Pretty dope. On the back tab, it does have that logo, same as it does on the Jordan 4. 
same logo. And Panam is actually on the spoiler here, where it is on the front portion of the Jordan 4. On both interiors, on both of the insoles, EC Saint Paris is written there. So like I said, I really got to get my hands on a pair of Jordan 5s to see if they have those same kind of elements into it. But this shoe, man, it looks really, really, really good. Uh, I'm going to try to get some B-roll to show you guys and take it all around the shoe. But I am thoroughly impressed with this. And I'm glad my energy uh, changed to be able to get these. And more importantly, I was, I'm glad I was able to cop. Um, I'm not sure if this shoe was as limited as it led on, but I know a lot of people had difficulty picking this shoe up. So I'm thankful I was able to hit on the sneakers app and I got this guy uh, with the quickness. I'm gonna pull out the other shoe and see if there's anything different, which I doubt, let's check it out. As far as I can tell, both shoes are pretty identical, or pretty much identical, they are identical. Um, left to right, no other difference, but man, this is just such a fire pair. Such a great pair of shoes, man. And you know, I'm really also happy because I had uh, very little Jordan 4s. And you know, I kind of missed a boat on the explosion of Jordan 4s with the um, third year anniversary being, I guess, last year. Uh, I didn't get the What the 4s or some other stuff I missed out on. But man, this is, I'm glad I got this one. This is dope. This is definitely dope. As far as what I would rate this shoe, this is pretty high up there to me. Uh, this is what, this one's going to be a nine. And I'm not gonna sit on this one either. It's gonna make sure I, I get this guy on foot. Um, man, the shape of the shoe, like I said, something about the shape of the shoe, it just makes it look like uh, maybe it's close, it's close to the OG. It actually kind of has a Air Max shape to me, which is weird. I can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe on foot, it'll look different. Um, it's, it's dark here, so I can't really get any uh, film of it on feet, but we'll see. So, dope shoe, like I said, is it a must cop? Uh, I, I would say yes, if you're a collector of Jordans and especially the Paris Saint Germain line, you definitely want to have this guy alongside your ones, your fives and your sixes. You know, I'm actually looking forward to what comes next. You know, again, my energy was different because all the other shoes were dark in color and they had that, that dark infrared or they had a dark uh, black metallic style, you know, look to them. And that's what really made the shoes stand out to me. They look dope and close to OGs. This one doesn't look like anything I've seen as far as colorways are concerned. And I didn't really fit, understood how it fit the PSC motif. But, you know, here we are with that. Fantastic, fantastic shoe. Definitely, definitely a must cop. That's going to bring this review to a close, man. You know, I don't really know what else to say about these other than they're just a really great shoe. It's pretty, pretty cool, man. You know what I mean? Glad to have these guys. And you can tell that they're actually pretty decent quality. You know, there is some breaking in already uh, on the toe box there. You know what I mean? It looks like the shoes, quote unquote, has been worn already. But, you know, we know it's not the case. But just, man, this is great. This is a great shoe. I'm happy. I'm excited I got this guy, man. So other than that, you know, stay tuned for more reviews. Uh, if you would, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button for more reviews, man. You know what I mean? I'm trying to give you guys great content. I'm always going to be up front and tell you what I think about shoes, whether or not you should cop them. I don't want you guys spending your money on stuff you don't want. Do me a favor, hit me on Instagram. Follow me at J underscore shoe fanatic. Y'all should already know the address. If you're new here though, I give you a pass. You feel me? And uh, yeah, man, nice shoe, nice shoe, nice shoe, nice shoe. I appreciate you guys sticking around here. And uh, until the next one, you guys be safe, take it easy and uh, be good to each other, man. I'm out.